What's this? Oh, oh, wait a minute. This is Binondo. Hold on. I know this place. Chasing, to chasing. Oh, they're chasing someone. All right, that's uh, that's near Binondo. That's near Binondo Church. Chasing a guy. Hinahabol, hinahabol, also on motorcycle. Kalina pa yan. Up, up. Through one Luna. So, oh, there. Dapat makalsuhan yung ano niyo, no? Ay, andar pa rin yan, kahit lot yan. Tipid pin? Or Gandara? One Luna, still one Luna. It's going to... Up, 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 up! Diyan ka lang, ay! Diyan ka lang! May harangan! Ano yan? Inaabol yan ng polis! Oh, look at that. No one wants to be a barricade for that. Don't know if uh, the guy is armed or something. Like, what the fuck? Oh, Tutoban. That is, it's around here. Are uh, you gonna go over that? No, he's still staying within. Right, guns are drawn now. There's a fire, uh, there's an exchange of gunfire. Uh oh. Don't wanna get hit by stray gunfire. Oh, this is precarious. No one wants to get caught in the crossfire. Okay, and uh, he's taking pictures of what's going on with. Oh, and video. Uh, GTA. <laughs> uh, he's still going! He's still going! Jesus Christ, oh, what a what a diehard. Right? So they're uh, just a <laughs> random uh, motorist with a dash cam. You gotta reset that, uh, that clock. Oh, there it is! There it is, motherfucker! The bumper's falling off. <laughs> Nobody wants to be in the way of that. There are people that are gonna say, hey, maybe uh, you wanna play hero and uh, block the way. You don't know if they're armed than your ordinary citizen. You wanna get shot at? No one's gonna block that. Unless they're police, you know? Like, no one's going to play hero. Shut the fuck up. I've heard some people who would, uh, who would claim that, yeah, I would have, I would have done something about it. I swear. Those people. I know some of those people. They're assholes. They're blowhards. You wouldn't do shit. Okay, so day after that car chase, uh, the news came out. Uh, let's watch it together. Uwi sa habulan at paninita o ang paninita ng mga otoridad sa isang sasakyang nag-ikangay beating the red light sa lungsod ng Maynila. Ang tumakas na driver ay nakadiskrasya pa. Nadadalas na yata ito. Eh, tinutukan yeah. niya ni Chino Gaston. There it is. Pinapunta <laughs> ng mga tauhan ng MPD at Manila Traffic Bureau ang puting SUV na ito sa may divisorya sa Tondo, Manila matapos umanong uh, that's mag near here. driver nito na takasan ng mga pumaros There it is, that's the uh, footage we watched ang mga otoridad, bigla itong nag-U-turn at uh, there's Tutuban dahilan para halos matanggal ang bumper nito 
naabutan din siya ng mga pulis sa may Delpad Bridge at agad pinusasan at pinaupo sa kalsada. Boom, caught him, caught him suspect na si Clint Sherwin Errol Co. 35 taong gulang, isang oh, negosyante na nagkakaloukan. Sa kanyang pagmamadaling tumakas sa mga otoridad, nasagi niya ang isang SUV at motorsiklo. Pinara nila yung suspect. Dumire-diretso pa rin, nagbiting na red light. Kaya yeah. hinabol nila. Paghabol nila, paikot-ikot sila sa Lacson, hanggang napunta sa Santa Cruz. Oh, so na they were going around. Na-inquest na ang suspect na nahaharap sa kasong resistance. And Look, he still has his phone. Authority, he was able to get some food. Multiple damage to property. Sinubukan namin guna na bahayag ang suspect. This is around my age. Nakakulong sa MPD Traffic Bureau Detention Cell. No comment, sir. Ha? No comment ka? Attorney ko na lang usapin mo, sir. For attorney mo na lang? Sa... Okay, this is what uh, what gets me with this guy. They hauled him to the precinct. It was the very first thing. It was the very first thing they had. He got some food. Like, you almost got people killed. You made the whole fuss. And uh, you're, you're in the shitter. It turns out that you were chased because you just tried to get away after being flagged for beating the red light. Traffic violation, every now and then it happens. You know, just, you know, get the ticket, pay for it. That's, that's it. Just pay the fine, you're good. But no, he had to cause a scene. And when they get to the precinct, what did he ask for? <laughs> what did he do? Uh, he, he asked for some food. Okay, fine, but it's the attitude that gets me. It's this. No comment, sir. Ha? No comment, ka? Attorney ko na lang usapin mo, sir. Well, for one thing, he can afford an attorney. By the way, the, the spelling on that name, very familiar. Like, three names, that's very Chinese. That's very Chinese. But never mind that. This attitude. Attorney ko na lang usapin mo, sir. For attorney mo na lang. Uh, hindi ka magbibigay ng statement mo. I know this attitude. This is very familiar. It's just about... Every guy out there who bullied me in high school has this kind of attitude. I'm not, I'm not bitter about it, but it's, it's more like a warning. Don't be an asswipe. And I think I know exactly why this guy ran away from the police when he got flagged for beating the red light. Because he's never encountered anything like that before. He's never fucked up bad before. He, he tried to get away, and maybe he, he thought, hey, if I could do it in Grand Theft Auto, I could do it here. Maybe. But the worst possible consequence he has ever had throughout his entire life was getting scolded by his parents. And that's pretty much the worst thing that can happen. It doesn't matter if he gets anyone hurt. It, it doesn't matter if uh, he fucks up anyone's life. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to him. The worst thing that can happen to him is uh, getting scolded by his parents. And it's the same thing with... You, you remember that guy... Uh, who's that? Uh, who fucked up that uh, security guard? Uh, let's see. Let's look for that news. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Like, come on. And guess what? He's also my age, around 34 years old. Jose Antonio San Vicente. Was accompanied by his parents and their lawyer when he appeared at PNP headquarters in Camp Crame. And how does he deliver his apology in Taglish? That's for one thing. My apologies po sa nangyari. My apologies to Mr. Flora, uh, Floralde and sa kanyang family. And, uh, oh, God. The events that occurred are now blurred in my mind. My mind is in chaos. I can't think properly now. He said in mixed English and Filipino, of course, because, you know, that's the language of your people. He brought his parents in. He's like 34 years old. He brought his parents in. They took his license away. He can never have a license again. He could still buy a car, but he's going to have to be driven around by a driver. Like I said, I really think that it's because he has never fucked up before in the real world. And uh, the worst thing that has ever happened to him is getting scolded by his parents. I would know because I'm kind of the same way, although I have fucked up a lot of times in the real world. Yeah, I'm getting the same thing with this guy. Like, come on. It, it, they say, uh, 35 years old uh, businessman, you got those businesses from your parents. Maybe he did get, you know, he did establish his own businesses, but where did the capital come from? 
mind you, I'm sounding like I'm bitter and jealous, and maybe I am, but then again, I'm also afflicted with affluenza, okay? Because that's what these people have. I kind of have that too, a little bit, you know? I'm a loser, but, you know, I'm comfortable, which I totally understand. But when I'm put in this position, I don't know if I'm going to do the same thing they did. Anyway, it's a lesson. It's a lesson to be learned. You got to pay attention to these things because, you know, you got to then ask yourself, if I were in the same position, what would I do? But in the end, you'd never know until you're actually in that position. Anyway, that's all for now. Till next time, stay tour.